get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. Hey, you! Get moving, it's not too far, you're looking good, so come as you are. Hey, you! You never know what you see when you through that door with the 7-3. Never seen nothing, no, not like this place, never been, no, no way, not ever, no, never seen no place, no way, similar, not like 73. Hey, you! Get ready, get on your feet, get into gear and hit the street. It's you that we want to see, so get down to 73. Get down to 73, hey, you! Get down to 73. Uh, hi. Hello, is that uh, Bully's Clothes Shop? It is. Hi, my name's Harry Stern and I saw your advert in the paper. Yeah, I, I was wondering what sort of qualifications you have to have. A no level in chemistry. Uh, I thought this was a clothes shop. Why do you have to have a no level in chemistry? You like to be prepared for anything. I see. Okay, yeah, fine. What? Do, do I want an interview? Um, hold on. Do I want an interview? I think I'll skip this one. OK, no, not at all. Thank you. No. OK, bye. Chicken! Morning. Bad news, I'm afraid. I lost my job on Wednesday. I mean, it wasn't my fault or anything. I wasn't lippy to the boss. It's just that they're making massive staff cutbacks at the hotel where I work. The hotel where I used to work, I should say, and I'm looking for a job. What? I don't know what's going on. Morning, Harry. Morning. Morning. Oh, Robert, say good morning, yeah. Oh, right. Robert, Harry, Harry, Robert. Pleased to meet you, Robert. Hey, look, Don, I know Alec and Ethel are mad, but this morning they're being particularly extraordinarily mad. What's going on? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen them yet. Why do you ask? Get up and fight like a man! I fall like a woman! Come on in! You assault me again, my lord! Get up the door! What's going on? You see what I mean? I'm sorry about this, Robert. I forgot to tell you about them. They live here as well. This is Robert Crowther. He's an illustrator and he does all sorts of things. But today he's come here to work in Biscuit. Now you wait and see what he does with biscuits. You've never seen biscuits like it. They're amazing. Wow. Right? Yeah. I'm awfully sorry. I appear to have eaten my sword. Oh, honey, you come back to me. Come this way, Green. You've got got Get away too quickly from me, Barney. What is going, going on? on? Because I was better at this in my salad days, did it? Salad is a very good one. Celery sauce? Ah, oh, there you oh. are, for really aunt. Good morning. Buenas dias, senora, senorita. Good morning. Yeah, How are you, Cachita? That'll do. Don't go over the top. Very okay. Morning. Morning. Yeah. We're just rehearsing the chase sequence from this film we've written, yes, which we're going to do. Tell them all about it. It's going to work. Well, well, you see, it's called The Sands of Time, right? And both Ethel and I are directing it and writing it. That's right. It's a medieval comedy. <laughs> well, I say comedy. Yeah. It's got it's got the odd gag in it, and it's That's set right. in medieval times. Right. And the 17 characters... Yes, played by... All four of us. All four of us. Right. 17 characters. Right. Oh, tell them about the bit where we... Uh, oh, no, no, you tell them about the bit where we... No, what about that bit where we... Oh, no, 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 no. I've got reservations about that bit. Oh, well, um, tell you what. Harry could go in the moat instead of you. No, it's not the moat business I'm worried about. Mm -mm. See, we've got two very important decisions to make, right? Yeah. Have we got enough money, right? Yes. Enough money and enough time. OK, decision time. Shall time. we do it or not? OK. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. It's heads. Uh, tails what? We don't do it. So it's heads, we do it! We do it! Uh, OK, we oh, do it. Listen, what about the casting? You know, who's going to play which part and so on? Oh, well, leave that to the director. I know whom will play what. So this bit's on my Oh, hi. Awesome. Robert makes these amazing things out of biscuits. Now, just take a look at this. You can hardly believe it's a biscuit. Is it really all biscuit? It's all edible, yes. Yeah? Um, these, are, these are biscuits, and this is sort of food colouring. You, you, um, you do the colours with food colouring? That's right, yes. Yeah, sort of yellow and the red, which yeah. is added after you've rolled out the biscuit. Well, and what about the eyes? They're little currants, uh, aren't Just they? currants, yeah. yeah. And, and coconut for the background. So you can, you can actually eat it all? That's right, yes. It's too good to eat though, isn't it? And just look at this one. Now this one is just incredible. I don't know how you did this one. How did you do it? Um, well, it's obviously too big to go in the oven, so it had to be made in four sections. Yeah. And then assembled after. It's sort of cemented into the background with icing. Was that difficult to actually put it together once you got it? It's, you need to shave little bits off here and there to make it all fit together. <laughs> it's quite an art, isn't it? Look at the little bus here. I bet that's a number 73, don't you? Not sure if that goes over Westminster Bridge. What's that made out of? Uh, marzipan. Yeah? Yeah. And, and what, the clock is made out of marzipan as well? No, the it? clock's iced on. The letters are iced on with the 
So there's all sorts thing. of things, really, isn't there? Yeah. And what, what about the, the clouds? What are they made out of? They're sort of flaked rice, which has been set into the icing while it was still wet. So you, everything you use is edible? Yes. And the sea is the te sea. It's the Thames. It's the Thames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's, what's that? That's your mistake there. It's all got, got Just looks uh, like a big tidal wave. Up, but it looks like a wave, yeah. yeah. That's lovely. Now, you're going to make us a 73 biscuit house, right. aren't you? I've got you all the stuff you wanted. Right. Do you want, I'll bring it over here. Now, you must tell me, how on earth did you get the idea for making biscuit pictures? Um, it started off with a self-portrait, which I did when I was at the Royal College. Yeah. And uh, from that, I got some work working for Madame Tussauds, Waxworks. Yeah. Um, to produce the Dutch royal family in biscuits. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, that's how it really started. Did they ask you to do a picture and biscuit, or you, you just decided to do it? I decided to do it as a... We had to do a self-portrait in yeah. any other medium, apart from sort of paints and yeah. things like that. Were they impressed when you turned up with a biscuit picture? Yeah. Well, it was actually... Putting it on show, it actually broke in two. Yeah? Oh. What, what about... How do you actually do it? How do you actually um, make it? Well, you start off by... It's a fairly simple uh, biscuit mix of sort of flour, marge, yeah. sugar and... Um, um, so normal ingredients, really? Yes, yeah, the normal sort of things. Yeah. Easter biscuit recipe. And you shape um, it? Yes, that's right. Yeah. What, what other kind of pictures have you done apart from these two? Uh, I've done some portraits of people and also I've done a Buckingham Palace for um, the v &A in Jubilee. Yeah. Uh, a whole Buckingham Palace? Yes, yes. Was that difficult? It was quite difficult because it was a very big one. Yeah. And I sort of made... It had a sort of marzipan grass foreground. That sort of thing. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Now, this is a silly question, but have you got an ambition in biscuit? I mean, is there something yeah. you'd really like to do? I'd really like to make a very big biscuit. A something sort of eight foot by four foot, something huge. Oh, doorbell. Who's going to get it? Not me. No, not me. Not you. Yeah, I'll get the door. <laughs> Fred. Harold, how are you? Very well. Is Ethelyn? Yeah, she is. Oh. Hey, listen, I've lost my job. Oh, Do you know there any situations vacant in the GPO? Well, there's the student post at Christmas. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything now. I'll have a word with the pals. Oh, that keep be. an eye out for oh, well, you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, listen, come through here and we'll listen. talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Marie, 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 what's up? What's up? Right, Fred, tell us what happened at the practice school. Yeah. Where you were with Ethel. What, yeah, my date with Ethel? Yeah, oh. we've got to go home early today. OK, look, right. I picked her up. Half past seven in my van, and she looked so beautiful. She was wearing a little green hat and a long green dress, and she had her high heeled green running shoes on. She looked a bit like a broad bean, actually. Runner bean. Oh dear. Anyway, we got to the ball, and there were two menus a la carte and table d'hote. What did you have? Uh, uh, steak and kidney pudding. Yeah, and then we, we danced, we did, we danced, we danced the mambo and the samba and the cha 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 hey, and the postman's Fred. stomp. Fred, yes. are you and Ethel going to go steady? Well, I don't know. That's what I'm here for this morning. She said we'd have a talk about it. And just to try and sway her my way, I've got her favourite band. Oh, oh, the Bell Stars oh, in no. the yard. Oh, yes. oh, 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 God. Do rush to you. Oh, listen, great. You don't no have to rod around no, yet. No, no, time. Time. We don't seem to have time. No, 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 no. Well, I suppose yeah. I've got all the time in the world, don't I? Come on, pull around your hand, Jack. How's it coming on, Robert? Oh, fine. Thanks, All right. Sorry. Hey, listen, I won't beat around the bush, mate, but are there any jobs going as a biscuit man's assistant? Then? Well, have you had any training for it? I used to make chocolate biscuits at school, mate. Well, it's a bit specialised. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that a good no, qualification? I don't think so. Oh, really? Well, never mind. Are you too good at arithmetic? Why is that? No, Because really. uh, when the numbers come... Here they oh, are! Here Four, four three, three, two, two one! one. episode begins, we flash back in time. Years ago, off the coast of beautiful star-studded San Pedro, California, a ship was in trouble. Today, that ship, the HMS Margolis, is going to be raised from its watery grave by deep-sea divers. 
You see, it was carrying a very valuable cargo. Arr, gold. Gold? Gold? Quack. That's right, bird brain. Get the feathers out of your ears. Quack. Feathered ears, feathered ears. And those diver people are going to get that gold for us. <laughs> That's what I'm up to. Well, what did you learn, Iron Mike? Can we raise her? I attached a giant chain to her. We can pull her up any time you would like to. Yes, any time at all. Then let's get started. Aha, but little did the captain know that evil lurked just below the port bow to the left. All right, men, start the winch. Let's raise the treasure. <laughs> Right, mateys, it's all over but the shouting. Hold that boat! Hold that boat! Rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, you make it very difficult to be a pirate. Now, hand over that treasure ship before I blast you out of the water. What's the meaning of this? I've been working years figuring out how to raise this ship. The treasure is mine. Now I'm taking the treasure, say. Come on, Carl Bob. Hook the ship onto mine. We'll sail to our hideout and open the gold treasure. I have one last request. Ah, uh, what is it? Don't do it. <coughs> and meanwhile, who do you think just happened to be driving along the coast highway enjoying the sights? Oh, it's good to get out of that traffic, kids. Suddenly, Roger heard a cry for help. Help! Roger! Help! Roger, what was that? What? Help! Dad! Oh, that. Well, that's a man yelling, help, help, help. Well, let's save him. Oh, brother of heroes' work is never help. done. Quickly, the captain explained to Roger what had happened. And then Red Dog and the parrot took the treasure and set sail. Hmm, sounds to me like the work of Red Dog the pirate. You have an unbelievable mind. Yes, I do. I'll get after him. I know where his hideout is. <laughs> Now, Carl Bob, me fine feathered fowl, we'll go down into the hold and see what's in store for us. Come on, let's split up the loot. Rock, one for you and two for me. Suddenly, as Red Dog and Carl Bob are about to split up the treasure, what's that? <laughs> Why, who are you? I am a giant squid. I am protector of this treasure. Sink this boat again and I will let you have these two criminals. Otherwise, I'll strangle your nose off. Say no more. You're as good as sunk. So, I'm sorry about that treasure, Captain, but I believe it's better left under the sea. If the giant squid ever gets tired of guarding it, he said he'd get in touch with me. As for you two, You'll be put away where you can't bother anyone for a long time. Arr, jets. If that's the way you want it. But I'm warning you, without us you got a pretty lousy show, baby. And so ends another adventure of Roger Ramjet, the hero who makes everything nice again. <laughs> right, the shops. Right, you want to go out of the door, turn left. Right, down the road, then turn right. Left. Left, right. right. Yeah, then, then go straight down, and the shops are just near the 26 bus stop. OK, fine. You think you find it? Yes, I think okay. I'm right. With those right. directions, how See can you, you go wrong? See, See you later. later. Yeah. Hey, listen, how's your job in the clothes shop going? Oh, it's fine. How did you get it? Well, I got uh, CSE Woodwork. Guess what, you two? What? The film project's ready. Oh, brilliant. Just basically, there's a, there's a lack of money, so it's oh. not that brilliant. Between the four of us, we've got to play 17 characters. Even better. Would you like that? Good, yeah. yeah. But there's another thing. Because of the money situation, we can't possibly keep inviting all these people down to the house. Yeah. It's very expensive. Like the people in the yard. Who are they? Nothing to do with us. No, nothing about sure? it. Judy, Judy drummer of the Bell Stars. Look, thanks so much for coming down. We put your drums next door in Martin and Hazel's yes. backyard. Is that all right? Well, it's a rather unconventional arrangement, but it's fine. You get cool a very man, good view. All... Look, thanks ever so much to you all for coming down. A special surprise for Ethel and everything. Talking about Ethel, how's the courtship going? I mean, has she said whether she's going steady or not yet? No, well, she hasn't. I'm hoping that we're going to have a chance to well, talk this morning. My fingers are crossed, you know, I know what it means to you. Yeah, the thing is, I think she's typing there in the shed now. Shall Come on, let's Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. Can I? Can no. I? No. 
Oh, please, Alec, I'm please, sorry. can I do sorry. Delve Down Deep? Please, please, please. OK, 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 you can do Delve Down Deep. Thank you. Right. It's time to announce the winners of last week's Hunter Award, and Harry's going to Delve Down Deep. I'm Come on. Delve Down Deep. Here we go. And this one is from Helen Carstairs from St John's, Worcester. Well done, Helen. Well done, I see it. What yeah. was... Oh, yes, and the hidden word last week was... Organise. Organise. Right, No. This week's word. It's a slight confusion. He wants a word, I want a word. So we can't make up our minds, so we'll have to toss a coin for it, right? So who wins? OK, here we go. Your word. My <laughs> word. OK. Right. right. So my word, all right, this week has got eight letters. Now, the usual address to write to is... Number 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Kent. But that's my bit. I, I didn't think you could do that. Sorry. And on the outside of the envelope, please put, as usual, hunt, hunt the word. And that bit, not the word. <laughs> Sorry. Now, oh, there's a prize, by the way. A lovely number 73 dictionary. Now, Smash it. this week's clue is coming up right oh. now. Right. I never, ever help Alec with the clues for Hunt the Word. Now then, conclusion. I've finished my film script. I'm still not very happy with scene 446. Let me see. Perhaps the Morning, bar... Ethel. Morning, Fred. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm a bit busy at just a moment. I'm doing my film script. Yes. How do you spell mm. medieval? Uh, oohs. I before E, except after C, isn't it? Don't be silly. There's no C in medieval. No, no, there is. Fred, don't do that. Oh, look. That's my film. Haven't you got some letters to deliver? I've just finished my second delivery, and I, I was hoping that you could spare a bit of time and we could have a chat. But look, Fred, you see... This film has got to be shot, the whole thing, we've got to do it all next week. I just haven't got time, honestly. You haven't got time? No. Well, I suppose you, you won't have time for a, for a surprise, then, will you? Surprise? Yeah, well, I mean, you wouldn't have time to pop out into the yard for a surprise, would you? What, what kind of surprise? Well, it's, you wouldn't have time. It's only a special surprise and you're, you're too busy. Well, I mean, even Shakespeare took a break. <laughs> Come on. See you later. Hola! Ethan, ¿qué tal estás? Eh, qué bonito, ¿no? Aquí hay las belistas, ¿no? ¿Te recuerdas? De Claire, la saxofonista, Leslie, bajista, Judy, batería, Sergio, la guitarrista, otra saxofonista, Miranda, la cantante, Jen. ¿Quién eres? ¡Oh, the Bell Stars! ¿Qué es eso? ¿Es sobre Fred? ¿Sobre Fred? Bueno, creo que deberíamos hablar sobre Fred en algún lugar privado, ¿no? Sí, ok. ¿Cómo puedo ir a ir a él, entonces? Tú tomas mi hat. Tomas mis gloves. Exacto. Disguise. Do I look no. Spanish? We are Spaniard. Oh, More very nice. Come on. Hello, Ethel. Love the shades. Ole! Ole what? Ole smoke. <laughs> uh, shall I... shall I do the coffee? No. Shall I do the washing up? No. Morning! Oh. Neil! Neil. Watch ya. You all right? Yes. No. Uh, I see. We're playing games today, are we right? Oh. No. <laughs> No. Yeah. Are you going to sit down then? Come on. <coughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on, you. What have you got we in your some... hair? Oh, these things were sent to me by Ben Shell of Spa Road, South London. Thanks a lot, Ben. Do you think they look nice? Hey, do you reckon right? if I watered them, they would grow? Very right. funny, Harry. Lovely. I've also got sent this lovely little roller skate. Now, look at that. That's good, isn't it? And that's been sent to me from Paul McGill uh, from Scotland. And he says, Dear Don, Don. Like you, I am mad about Don. roller skating. I have sent you a little present and hope you like it. Uh, all my love to all at 73. Please write back, love, Paul. Now, Paul, we actually all write back to everyone, but sometimes it takes us a long time because there's so many letters and we get right, exhausted right, writing letters. Right. But we do write back. It may take a little while. Actually, that's, that's brilliant, but what I want to know is how are you going to put your feet in it? This letter is from Robert Johnson and it's a cracker. It says, Dear 73, I went to the fair last week and I won a goldfish. I didn't know what to call it, so I called it Ethel. No <laughs> offence. I see what you mean, oh. actually. I, I, yeah, it looks a bit... Hey, I've got a poem here. Now, this is a gem, but unfortunately, there isn't an address on it. Oh. So you've got to put your addresses on when you send the letters. But that's it anyway. You recognise who it is, whoever it is. And the poem says, ready for this, Every Saturday morning at roughly 10am, I rush downstairs to wash some pairs of rather smelly socks. Mm -mm. At the speed of sound, I dash around, I make a cup of tea. I hear a quite familiar sound, it's number 73. Mm. Ethel sweeps the yard again, Harry's socks still stink. <laughs> Dawn has learnt new skating skills, Alex asleep, I think. 
The band plays in the living room. Sounds really good to me. Posties after Ethel once more. All down at 73. Hey, uh, that's a brilliant good. poem, but I just want to—I just want to clear this rumor about the smelly feet. Right, they do not smell. I repeat, <clears> they do not smell. Since I've been using this wonderful foot uh, deodorant, they smell of alpine snow. Of course Listen, they do. Harry. Don't worry about it, mate. Right. Yeah. Have we got time to show a film? All the time in the world for your film. Do you remember when on? went on my sketching holiday down to Cornwall? Yeah. This is the film you haven't seen yet. It's me down a tin mine. I'll tin put it on. mine? Yeah. What do you go down a tin mine for? To mine tin, of course. Mine. It's in mine, yeah. Thank you. It's great. Hello, girl. Hello. Hello. Are you all right? Yeah. Uh... Yeah. 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 Si, senor. <laughs> <laughs> Silly of me to ask, really, wasn't it? Although I don't know, you know, Ethel never usually gives me a definite answer like that. It's usually probably, maybe, could be, don't know. Now all of a sudden it's yes, no. Si, senor. Seems like a good idea. I think I need to get a bottle of tea. Let's have a nice private show. Oh, a bit of class. Isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. Lovely bit of class. Anyway, so then Fred took me to the philatelist ball, right? Philatelist. Stamp collector. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stamp yeah, yeah. collector. Right. And we had to do the GPO shuffle. Actually, it's called the GPO stomp. And it goes like this it goes Lick, stamp, GPO. Great. Do you want to have a go? Yeah, go. Okay, ready? <laughs> Lick, stamp, GPO. Which is fine. It was good fun, you know, except that they wear these steel capped health clogs postmen, you see. And so my feet haven't been the same since. <laughs> and then he said, he said to me, he said, right, I'll show you as a special treat at the end of the date. I'll show you how I can deliver an express package from the door of the main post office to the door of number 73 in 25 seconds. Did he do it? No, it took 12 minutes. I had to go back for my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any peculiar boyfriends? Oh, I've had some peculiar boyfriends in my time, Ethel, yes. Uh, there was one that took like this all the time. He was, um, was a photographer from Manchester called Rembrandt. and. I didn't know why his lip was purple like that till he kissed me and he discovered he's got no teeth. Oh, no. What sort of band did he photograph? Manhattan Transfer, well, his favourite band, yes. What about you, Jen? Oh, I had one from Rotherham, you know. And did you? Don't know what. Rotherham? I'm not telling you. <laughs> you know. His mum was a bit on the back, you know, like that. <laughs> and then, of course, there's my friend from the deep south of the United States of America, been struck by lightning five times and I was relieved of my eyebrows. From the lightning. From wash time. It's called Chuck. Well, at least, at least, I mean, at least I had romantic boyfriends. I mean, I ended up with a postman. Yeah. Well, tell us about Fred, anyway. Oh, well, it's not that easy. Yeah, so, if you don't, I mean, if you, you know, if you don't fancy Fred, I wouldn't mind. She's game. Really? I'm game, yes. Oh, yeah? Well, I think we girls will talk about this privately. Would you skedaddle, please? So, where we go, then? Me, down a tin mine. And I'll tell you, mate, this is one of the scariest experiences I've ever had. 1,500 feet below the ground, just like Journey to the Centre of the Earth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wasn't it pitch black down there, Neil? It wasn't too bad, cos I had a little lamp on me crash at. Oh, Andy. Just watch this. It was great film, mate. Yeah. Seventy-three, Here we go. 73 five, five, four, three, two, two one. Two nine. Nine. There we go. Since I've been down here in Cornwall, I've been sussing out about all these old tin mines. There's hundreds of them, all ruins. Years ago, tin mining was a thriving business around these parts, but now there are only three working mines left, and Giva is one of them. Me, gift of the gap, soon talk my way into this one. Here we are then, 1,500 feet under the ground.
pretty steep slope, this, isn't it? It's one in four, actually. Is it? Or somewhere around. 15, How far down does it go? Um, in total, some 2,000 odd feet. 2,000? Actually, you can feel the, the, the slope sort of behind your back. It reminds me of going up in an aeroplane, only backwards. It's a sense of the earth, isn't it? Well, what's, what's this for on the right here? Eh? Ventilation. This is our only means of ent ventilating the dead end. You see, we're going into the end of the tunnel. The face. That's the, actually the face, is it? Yeah. That's right. Sir. So that's that's the only ventilation that the guys down there have got. Yeah. And over here we have uh, compressed air and water. And uh, the compressed air is our form of uh, power underground. Yeah. OK, Mr Pasco, how far are you going to walk me now? Come on. Oh, well, you can walk for miles and miles underground. Oh, no. You can, but uh, today we're not going all that far. Apparently, millions and billions and zillions of years ago, this part of Cornwall, which is solid granite, came rising up out of the sea. Now, that was dead hot, but when it started to cool down, it started to crack, didn't it? And there was all this other stuff bubbling around at the centre of the earth. Hot rocks, explosions and all that. So up it came, no messing. <laughs> Filled the cracks up. Loads of minerals, all the gear, especially tin. You can't just see it. You can't see it there, no. no. That's not in, tin. In fact, if uh, we get 1% uh, out of this stuff, yeah. we're doing extremely well. So you can imagine we don't see a lot of it, not really. 1%? One percent. So that's like every, every 100 tonnes you get out, you only get one tonne of tin. It's really hot down here, isn't it? Is it? Well, uh, it's like, not too bad. Actually. It's almost like a furnace on there. Uh, well, there are hotter places, I can assure you. Now, if you don't mind, we'd better go back because these fellas... Oh, right, sure. Yeah. They've got a task to complete, you know. Great. Right. Pasco, that was amazing just to see how it's really okay. done. Thanks a lot. No Next problem. time you're in Liverpool, I'll show you around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ta-ra. Oh, Great day. Wow. what conditions to work in, Ruthless, eh? mate. Tell you, those sure. guys work really hard, you know. Yeah. Hey, listen, you like heavy rock, don't you? Yeah. Got a prezi for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? That's the tin ore, mate. That's the stuff that those guys were drilling for down there and bringing up in the trucks, oh, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. How many bait yeah. bean cans can you get out of that, then? Uh, I'm not too sure, but this weighs about two pound, and there's about a third of an ounce of tin in here. So it's like I said in the film, to get a ton of tin, you have to bring about a hundred tons of this stuff up. Cool. That's a lot. Yeah. Right, so you tune up really the guitars happy. now. I'll be yeah. back in a minute. Really okay. Oh, mm. Harry, have you seen Ethel anywhere? Yeah, she's in the lounge. Oh, hey, just... Fred, no, come here. What? Look, about this uh, job in the GPO, oh, I yeah. understand you have high friends in high places. Well, I mean, I have... I've put in a word. Oh, I love that Margaret Great Rutherford. Fun. I wish Jimmy Copeland had been in it. Yeah, so mm. do I. What was it called? Passport to Pimlico. Oh, I'll just translate. She said, passport to Pimlico. <laughs> You talking to me or Gina Black? Oh, uh, she just asked if I'm referring to her on my chewing a piece of architectural artefact. Mm. 
Are you want to come up and see myself with this sometime when we tell him at flat? Oh, good. I've just been invited upstairs to her apartment block to see her brand new gramophone uh, silver. Ah, uh, Ethel, at last we are alone. Friends. I'm friends very elusive this morning. Is... Look, I'm determined to have girl. a little chat with me. This is friends. That's my Posted, posted, do not tear it. Oh, stop messing about, oh, Ellie. Know. You're so smart. You say what you think about me going out with the post. Well, I think. Well, not. I think you've got a lot to do. You've got a lot. Of you've got too much. Too much to do. The film to organise. You know. You've got the housework. You know. Well, so? I'll help it. So. Well. Don't you, you like him? Well, it's all right. But I just don't think he's your type. And who is my type then? Oh, who's your type? Hmm. Me. <laughs> joke. <laughs> joke. Oh, Ethel. Alec. Ethel. Get lost. Alec. Pizza. Alec. Joke. Alec. We're just, uh, we're just, uh, oh, good uh, friends, good friends. Friends, isn't it? Hello, yes. Ethel. Hi, what? Uh, we mm. thought we'd come and tell you how well Fred and Jenny are getting on. Mm. No, I mean. Yeah. Jenny, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm yeah. not bothered. No, not much. Not bothered. <laughs> I'll give her two seconds. One. Fred! <laughs> good, buddy. Listen, yeah. have a seat, right? Let's have a look at Connie and find out the secret of the universe, eh? Uh, is Connie in? Oh, great, she's in here. Yeah, yes, yes. Maybe she can help me find the universal secrets yeah. to getting a job, eh? Well, I don't, maybe she could, but I certainly I can, because I don't actually know how, how to operate oh, the thing. We do, that's right, we do. Oh, do you? Do. you? Yeah, sure. Oh, very smart, right. Operate right away. Oh, what a lovely little pattern. <laughs> Is that meant to mean something? Oh, oh, oh good, good morning. Good morning, morning. morning. Yeah, good morning, Connie, good morning. Oh, look at that flash, honey. I wonder what this is going to be. Is it a ball? No, no, no it's, it's not going to be a ball. It's going to be a face, yes. uh -huh. and it's a sad, sad face. Oh. Sorry to hear about the job, Harry. Yeah. So am I, mate. Very sorry. Very sorry to hear that. It's a bind. Unemployment. What was unemployment figures? Unemployment What's figures were 2,983,921. Now two million nine hundred eighty-three thousand nine hundred twenty-two. Oh, yes, it is. That's right. I tell you, it's terrible. What are you going to do? I don't know. Get a paper, paper round. round. Fine. That's well, no the... idea. <laughs> Hard work. Paper round. What do you say about paper rounds? Paper rounds. Mm. Yes. No. Nice pattern. Actually, the paper round. I don't know. Approximately two Ten. million papers delivered a day. Approximately. Th 300,000 delivery people use. Really? Uh, average wage? £10.50 to £4. Oh, that's that's not, not going to keep me going, is it? Not really. It's not an awful lot. It's no, more than pocket money. Right? Would you be pleased with two fifty no, for a paper no, round? No. What does this say? Average pocket money for 5 to 16 year olds, £1.24 for boys, £1.14 for girls. Okay. Oh, oh, that's fair. Fair. What do you yes, think of that then, girls? No, no, of course it's fair. I wonder why the boys get extra. Cut the argon, cut the argon, get, get on there. Let's find out what's on next. Pocket, pocket money. money. There we go. 29% rise. Why is in pocket money last year? Far too much, yeah. far too much. How much Why pocket money did that? you used to get? We were lucky we got no one to Naples. Did you? <laughs> <money. laughs> That's the Scots. What's this going to be? One, one in five, five homes in Britain have two, two televisions. Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got two. We've got two. You've got we've got four. Oh, we've got nine. Well, is it nine we've got now? No, I'm not joking. I'm joking. I wish we did have nine. Kids, 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 kids. kids. We've got to go. No. What's that? No. We've got to go. We promised our parents we'd do the jobs for them. But what's all the morning for? We don't want to go. We want to stay. I'm sorry. No. Oh, come on. You've got to go. We have made a decision. You've said so you've done something. You've got to stay. Hey, listen. Next time you stay, you stay all day, right? Right. Is that fair? Yeah. 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 That's okay. fair Well, enough. they've all got jobs to go to. What am I going to do? Ah, uh, don't worry. Anyone? Alec and the kids will help you find a job, eh? Yeah. 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 Okay. Brilliant. Right, I'll help you a lot. Come right. on. See you later. Have a good Bye. time. Bye. Don't work too hard. Bye. See you later. Cheerio. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Of course I'll help you. Bye, Fred. Bye, Fred. If we've been down to... If we've been down to... Fred. Fred. Right, now then, I think if you just fold Fred, that Fred, that way Fred. and put the name at the top, Jenny, that's the main thing to remember. Yeah, I need something to take said, my mind off this. Uh, I know, we'll do the inventions competition. Name, right? that's it. Now, for those of you who weren't able to drop in on us last week, I don't know, you're watching cricket or whatever you were doing, we're having this inventions competition. And whoever sends me the best invention is going to have it built by that brilliant inventor, Tony English. I've got a whole series of plans here. Now, for example, they have ranged from the bazaar to the practical to the theoretically quite possible. Like, for example, there's one here, which is a bit bizarre, from Robert Bath, which is a, an invention for getting a very lazy cat up onto its favourite chair without it actually having to move. We'll brush that one aside. This one is a romantic postman scarer. And what it is, you've got one of Dawn's skates 
underneath the board with some books on it and a fan. And you kick the skate in the direction of the postman. The fan blows Harry's socks, which are there, and the smell of the socks drives the postman away. That's from Alec Glazebrook and David Hill. A brilliant one. This one is a pocket money collector. It's a very simple device. I don't know why anybody hasn't thought of it before. What you do is you chain your father upside down to a wall and shake him and put a money catcher underneath him and all the pocket money falls out and bingo, pocket money collector. And that one is from Justin Rouse, who's age nine. Now this one involves a theory of the basic principles of how magnets work. It's called Magnuskates and you have magnets on the bottom of your skates and magnets on some rails and in theory it should enable you through the principles of the north and south poles in magnets to skate along. Now I'm not that brilliant on the theories of magnets so I'm going to check that one out with Tony English. If you've got any ideas for inventions at all send me the plans, they can be practical or bizarre or inventive, whatever kind of invention it is send the plans to me, diagrams, descriptions, whatever to Ethel, number 73, PO Box 73, Maidstone, Kent. Let me undo these now, and I'll read this one out. Um, okay. Now, this one says, Fred mm. met Jenny oh. <laughs> yeah, um, at the bus shelter, and the consequence was it fell over. It's not very romantic, is it? It isn't over. really, is it? Oh. Well, I suppose the bus shelter. The best invention so far is this one. It's yeah. a boyfriend yeah. collecting oh. device. Says... <laughs> Fred! It's also extremely useful for starting the television. Now look here, Fred. Yes. No. Oh. No. Yes. Oh. 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 No. No. Best, Best of three. three. OK. Uh, hi. Oh, hi, chaps. Right. Oh, um, shall we get it? No. no. I'm Eddie. I'm Eddie. It's Eddie Kidd. Eddie Kidd? Who's Eddie Kidd? Don't know. It must be the Eddie Kidd. Oh. Look who it is. Eddie Kidd. Famous stuntman, world champion, record holder. Oh, good to see you, mate. All right, how are you? Not too bad. Yeah, what's with all the young bits, Eddie? Uh, well, I get a spray job on every one that I go for a big jump on. Yeah. Um, that one was for the 32 oh. cars at Brands Hatch. Yeah. And that was the one from my film, Riding yes. High. You're on tour at the moment, aren't you? That's right, yeah. Brilliant. Um, for four months, riding every four day. Four months? That's right. So look out for the posters, everybody. And, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Comes to the show. What's, what's the record that you hold, Eddie? Um, I jumped uh, 190 foot over 14 double deckers. Wow! Is that the most dangerous jump you've ever done? Uh, I suppose one of them. The other one was when I jumped across the uh, broken railway bridge in my film Riding High. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a bit about this helmet. Is this a new image or something? This is yeah. so yeah, mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you get, ah, get, well, oh. get out? Oh, come out. One minute. Oh, come on! Ah. It doesn't want to come. Come on! <laughs> now look at this. Really? This is a big build-up. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, this one, I'm uh, going to yeah. change my style uh, to black and silver rather than red, white and blue. Everybody's going red, white and blue, so yeah. I'm going to change Copying you, to this. That's it. right. I tell you, that reminds me of Darth Vader, mate. That's right, it looks a bit it really mean. That's ultra yeah. flash there, isn't yeah. it? Listen, one thing I've got to ask you, mate. Right. Do you ever get scared before a jump? Uh, not really. Uh, it's the night before. It's really hard to get to sleep. What, well, do you have um, to psych yourself up? That's right. And when I get down there, the adrenaline is really pumping yeah. through. And, and once I get go. on the bike, I'm all right, you know, yeah. I'm relaxed. When, I mean, when you're on tour, isn't it more dangerous, the fact that you're doing it every day? One well, yeah, other? because obviously I'm tired, I'm doing a lot of travelling, I do yeah. 50 or 60 miles every day, so <gasps> the risk is that greater, yeah, because I'm doing it every day. Well, how many jumps on average do you do on a week when you're uh, on tour? Well, I do about 10 a day, um, so I'm doing about 70 a week. Oh, must be jumps, really tiring. Man. And what's this bike for, Eddie? This is classic, this, uh, isn't it? Well, this is what I've done, the, I attempted to break my world record at Brown's Hatch. I, I did have rockets on the side coming out, but they yeah. failed on, on me. Oh, um, nice. But this, it really goes quick. Actually, I think we've got a video of that on, it's on, on Connie, Connie, the computer. Yeah. Yeah. Come and have a look yeah, at right. this, mate. Yeah. This, is, this is the one at Brands Hatch, right? Let's just bung these over here. Now, I, I hope I can just you remember how to work this, yeah. yeah. It's W3, yeah. T5, and then the that. 
Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Into it. Three. Come on. Now here we go. Yeah. There it is. Um, right. Oh, here it is. I was coming out of the corner about 85 miles an hour there. Yeah. Um, I didn't have enough speed on the first one. Uh, it was a brand's hatch. I was jumping uphill as well. Yeah. And you'll see on the first one, uh, I landed short. Wow. Uh, the boards collapsed. Uh, I'd done two jumps there, where I should have only really done one jump. How many cars did you clear there? Uh, that one was about 26. And this is me running past to see how fast I was going. So I had somebody there with um, uh, I don't know, a speedometer clock and see how fast I was going. Now this one, I'll go for it. It's uh, quite important to do a big build up here, isn't that's it? That's right, so because there was a big bend there, it doesn't look that much. Um, yeah. And this one I was probably doing about 86, close to 90. I should have been taken off at 96 to clear it. But unfortunately, I didn't make it again. Oh. How, what height did you get? You went pretty about high. About 20 there. foot, yeah. Wow. Uh, then smashed into some boxes again. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. You can see it again, I think. Is this a repeat the, of that? Yeah, you can see the boards as I take off, the suspension really handles well. And then as I land, in a minute, you'll see all the balls, they just want to fix down properly. Oh. Spring right up. And uh, it takes quite a big pounding on the bike as well. It's terrible at a time like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I don't do need Do all that the preparation and that happens. But yeah. still, you're going to try something I'm still in one else. piece anyway, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Hey, well, what's, uh, what's special about the bike, apart, apart from all the, uh, all the neat gear on here? Um, well, I have, there's air. You put air in the forks, you can pump them up. Um, mm. uh, the suspension has been modified on the back as well. Uh, what sort of bike would you call it? Well, it's a motocross bike motocross uh, with a few bike. modifications on, yeah. yeah. You're into ski bikes now, aren't Jet you? Jet skis, that's right. Yeah? Yeah. Have you had a chance to ride any of them lately? Uh, well, I did, yeah. I'm on Ultra Quiz tonight. Tonight? Ride, yeah. Hey, well, oh, listen, if you want to see any more of Eddie's dare, Devlin, look out for posters in your town, because he's going around everywhere. That's, that's right, right, yeah. That's right. An Ultra Quiz tonight at... 7.45. 7.45. That should be it. a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Was it, was it easy oh, to... Harold, I've told you not to bring your moped into the lounge. Ethel, you said you said not into the loo. Didn't I mention the lounge? No. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, okay. you must be. Uh... Eddie Kidd, sorry, Ethel it's Eddie. Fine, all right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you want to come and jump over some buses with me? Is that right? No, no, I don't really. You said Eddie. she wants to jump oh, some she buses. Does. Go on, go on, try the. Try What's the right? coin? Where's the coin? Give us the coin. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you got a coin? Yeah, right. Go on. Big decision, all right. Go on. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Jerry, Good luck. Have a good time. Don't see it. You've got to jump over some buses. Come on. Don't be a chicken. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor F. Hey, listen. I heard you've lost your job. Yeah. What, do you have an argument with your boss or something? No. You're looking for another one now? Yeah. Think it'll be easy? Yeah, no. You want to try looking at paper, mate? Have you tried? Yeah. Any luck? No. Are you depressed or something? Oh, no, no. If you're not depressed, what's wrong with yours? I'm getting out of his. Yes, <laughs> Listen, no, yes. no. Look, look, look. It's the yes and no game. Right? Yes, but no. I make the questions to you, yeah. and you must reply without saying yes or no. I know it. You try and trick me into yeah, saying that's yes right. or no. Go, go on then, yeah, try. No on. problem. It's a good laugh, this. Good laugh. Go on. Right, OK. Fancy yourself a bit around here, didn't you, Neil? I do. Bit of an old smoothie, ain't you, Neil? I am smooth. Going out with that Michelle Falcone next week, aren't you? I am. She'll go out with anyone, she will, won't she? No, she doesn't. No, you said no. All right. Uh, tell you what. Good idea for phoning, yeah? Yeah, very good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we'll do, right? You give Harry and me a ring, and what we'll try and do is catch you out on the phone, and you've not to say yes or no right. for a minute, Pick OK? Right. Now, you know the number by now, yeah? It's Maidstone. You've got to get that code for Maidstone, or you won't get through to us. That's and the right. code is 0622. So the full number is 0622 600 o. That's... Maidstone 600 treble O. Oh. Must be something about that, Alec. Yeah, we must. Anyway, let's go on the rehearsal, look here. OK. Oh, no, we can't rehearse anymore. Why not? They're here. Oh, oh, come on, let's get on with it anyway. OK, let's do it. Right. Listen, I've got a smashing letter, right? It's from Elizabeth McCarthy, who comes from Camberwell, New Road, in London, right? And she says, Dear number 73, I have a very good book for your highly recommended shelf. It's called The Secret Diary of Adrian Mole, aged 13 and three quarters, by, by Sue Townsend. I have read it twice, and I still think that it's really, really funny. Please read it out. I thought it was excellent. Yours, hopefully, Elizabeth McCarthy. Well, I thought it was excellent too, and I only read it once. And for those who haven't read it, right, Adrian is 13 and three quarters, and it follows his life from this age to the age of 15. He finds himself as a bit of a, a poet and an intellectual, 
And he has some problems in fight. It's a really funny problem. He's got a spot, a big spot. It's not right? funny. No, it's not really that funny, I suppose. Anyway, let's read it. OK. 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 Right, well, I'll go first. Yeah. Right, oh, yes, we'll go first, anyway. Thursday, January the 1st. Bank holiday in England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. These are my New Year's resolutions. One, I will help the blind across the road. I will hang my trousers up. I will put the sleeves back in my records. I will not start smoking. I will stop squeezing my spots. I will be kind to the dog. I will help the poor and the ignorant. After hearing the disgusting noises from downstairs last night, I have vowed never to drink alcohol. My father got the dog drunk on cherry brandy at the party last night. If the RSPCA hear about it, he could get done. Eight days have gone by since Christmas Day, but my mother still hasn't worn the green Lurex apron I bought her for Christmas. She will get bath cubes next year. Oh, just my luck. Oh, no. I've got a spot in my chin for the first day of the new year. Oh, dear. Friday, January the 2nd. Bank holiday in Scotland and full moon. I felt rotten today. It's my mother's fault for singing my way at 2 o'clock in the morning <laughs> at the top of the stairs. Just my lap to have a mother like her. The dog got its own back on my father. It jumped up and knocked down his model ship, then ran into the garden with a rigging tangled in its feet. My father kept saying, three months work down the drain, over and over again. The spot on my chin is getting bigger. It's my mother's fault for not knowing about vitamins. I'll tell you this much, Don. If you think he's had problems in January, wait till he gets a few months on and he gets on to me. Right. Sunday, May the 24th, Rogation Sunday. That must be religious on a Sunday. Anyway, I have decided to paint my room black. It's a colour I like. I can't live a moment longer with naughty wallpaper. At my age, it is positively indecent to wake up to big ears and all the rest of the Toyland idiots running <laughs> about the walls. My father says I can use any colour I like, so long as I buy the paint and do it myself. Monday, May the 25th. I have decided to be a poet. My father said that isn't in a suitable career for poets and no pensions and other boring things, but I am quite decided. Bought two tins of black vinyl silk finish paint and a half inch brush. Started painting as soon as I got home from the do-it-yourself centre. Noddy keeps showing through the black paint. Looks like it will need two coats. Just my luck. Right, so if you want to recommend a book for the shelf, drop us a line. Tell us who the author is and the book you like, and I'll try and get it on there, OK? Right, now... Ah, that's... but where do they send it? Oh, yes, of course. Number 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Kent. I forgot about the address, didn't I? Anyway, that's one performance over. Now, another performance, the film, right? Yeah. I want Harry to be a princess, right? Harry to be a princess? Yes, but I'm really worried about, about the makeup business. Will you be the makeup artist? Sure, I'd love to. There's only one problem, though. What? I need some money to buy some new stuff. Don't worry, there's a couple of quid oh, on the house. Me. Right? Thank you. Now, Ethel, I want her to play a small, fat man. A small, fat man? Yeah, a baron. Where are they, by the way? I don't know. Should we go and tell them? Let's go and fight. Come on, let's go and tell them about this. See you. Fred! 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 I've managed to give Eddie the slip. I've got him jumping the dustbins in the alleyway. Oh, I don't know. With all these men around today, I'm not getting a moment's peace. What's this? Yeah, Ethel, you're going to play a small, uh, fat man. Oh, oh, all right then. Who's that? Hello. Oh, hello. You must be Ethel. Yes, I am, yes. Oh, I've always been a big fan of yours. Have you? Oh, mm. fine. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll just leave you to it, you know. Excuse me. We've been playing a small fat man in our film. How's it coming along? Well, it's just about finished now. Yeah? All the bits have been painted on with uh, food colouring, the roof and the windows and yeah. the door. Are you limited um, to colours when you do things with biscuits because of the food colouring? I like to keep it sort of edible, edible colours yeah. rather than uh, You can't really use bright ones. greens and stuff That's like right. that. But how did you get the shape? Um, I cut it out uh, using a trace, a tracing yeah. paper outline yeah and then uh, cut out the pieces separately and stuck them on with egg white yeah the right on top. so it's already going in the oven then yes okay you can take it over right Thank I'll you. set the oven for you because it's meant to be preset isn't it yes how long will it take about 20 to 25 minutes right I think. pop it in oh I can't wait it's a shame we're not going to be able to eat it really isn't it yeah right any chance of seeing Ethel again Ethel uh no sorry come on let's go into the backyard and get a breather after all Dawn is Ethel in here uh, no. <laughs> oh, Neil, don't do that. Listen, uh, it's very disconcerting. Isn't this about time we showed a film? Uh, it 
Yes. Oh, I mean, no, no, I didn't say that. Oh, no, it could be. <laughs> Did he? I'll let you off with that one. Okay, right. okay, 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 but it could be. Right, could be. Yeah. Lenient. Do you want Don't you need a projector to show a film? That could be correct as well. Right, that could be very correct. Isn't this film about boats? It It is about boats. Uh, are we going to stand here all day waffling or what? No. Got it! Oh, no. <laughs> get the blind, OK? I'll get the blind, you get the film. OK. Right. I was invited down a couple of weeks ago to the Isle of Sheppey by a friend of mine called Alan, who's got these incredible boats that are only this size, right? And he enters them in international competitions, and they're... In fact, they could cost over a thousand pounds. Anyway, I won't tell you anymore. Was it a good film? It was very good, yes. Oh, don't do that. 62, 56, 41, 29, 18, 10, 5, 4. Yes. Hello there, Alan. How's things? Thanks very much for the invite. Yeah. Are you both called Alan? Are you both Alan? Oh, yes. Both Alan. Sitting in a t-shirt. How do you do? Alan Senior. So how long have you been actually entering these uh, competitions, the model? Uh, since I was about seven. Uh-huh. And what about yourself, Alan? I started at four, but I got really into competitions at eight. All uh right. -huh. And what made you start? It was my father. He sort of got me interested, and it just sort of becomes addictive after that. You've just got to go faster than the time you did before. Yeah, so it's more or less a, it runs in the family. Yeah. So how old are you, Alan? I'm ten at the moment. And what category do you normally enter yourself for? F1, that's Formula One. Which is up to what particular age? Nineteen. In some competitions, there isn't any junior class. Oh, so right. then he's in fighting with all the big boys. Oh, that's very impressive. We'll pop this particular medal here. That was one in Bulgaria. Bulgaria. And that's where you're going soon, isn't it? Mm. Where's your local pond? Is it where is it far from here? Uh, Barnes Point down at Sheerness. So that's not far away, is it? No. But we'll go there this afternoon, OK? Yeah. We'll get the correct fashion. This is the course, eh? Yep, it's the course. Is it a standard course? Yeah, it's a standard course. And it's laid out in a particular way, is it? Yeah. How long does the boat take to ask you around the course? 15, 16 seconds. That's very fast. Really? Is it that fast? Yeah. How fast does the boat as they travel at? 45 to 50 miles an hour. Yeah? Yeah. That's smashing. So do you think the water's pretty good for her? No, not very. Why? What's wrong? It's a bit choppy. Choppy? Yeah. Let's get started, OK? Yep. Right, Alan, before we hit the water, let's let's try and find out how this boat actually works. Yeah. Um, what controls what? what right. is, first of all, what's this here? The control box? Yeah. Right. That's the transmitter. The transmitter. Now, yeah. where's the receiver? There must be something like receiver in that case. Right. The receiver is in the back, down there. Oh, there we are. Yep. Yeah. And what's this part here? That is a servo. And this is here? That is the battery pack to control the radio gear. Right, and... That is a servo-controlled switcher, the same as that. Well, that's a... Uh, yeah. That controls the speed. You're yeah. talking about two yeah. speeds in, yes. involved here? Yeah. Well, that's... Right. And what, what... That, that servo there controls the rudder. Great. OK, so that's, that's everything, really? Yep. OK. Right, let's have an idea. No. we run this other one? Cause yeah, I was going to say that, because this will get covered in water, yeah. otherwise. <laughs> so it says we aren't really yep. covered. OK. Yeah. Right. Do you want me to place it into the water? Yeah. Right, stand go, Mike. Finally. Remember, give us a shout. Yeah. Go. Right. Stop. Stop. Well, that was just over 20 seconds. So, what are your chances then for the championships in Bulgaria? Well, if the water's better than this, it should be about 17, 16. Is that the, is that the sort of set, that the time you should beat? Yeah. 
No, 17.9 is the time I should beat. You should clock that yourself, you think? Yeah. OK, that's brilliant. Right, Alan, the uh, moment of truth. Yeah. You take the watch, right? Yeah. I'll take the control box. Yeah. That'll probably take three days to complete the course. Yeah. Right, here we go. Go. <laughs> How can you go right, right, right? Right, look, that way. Oh, no! Looks as if this boat's going to become a submarine in a minute. Hi. Tell you, mate, that was a classic film again. Brilliant. Tell you what, those boats done. I liked it very much too, didn't you? What on earth is that? This is my costume for the film. <laughs> this for is the I film. like Nasty Man for the film. Uh, it's good. <clears throat> do you like it? Brilliant. Listen, what about it's all cost for my should do yeah, that? Yeah, I've, I've done it. For, there, there you go. What do you think? Oh, that's just perfect. All right. Perfect for the for the. For is the, it Ethel? Yes, for the barn. It's absolutely. Alex, <gasps> Neil. Get down. Get oh, down. Right. Hey, yeah. Come on. Have you seen Fred anywhere? Um. I haven't. Have you seen Eddie anywhere? I haven't. What about the biscuit man? I haven't seen him. You don't fancy going out with me, do you? I certainly do not. Oh. I really fancy going out with you, Ethel. Who's that? Alec. Are you sure? Alec. Really? Alec. Ah! Oh, Ethel! Oh, oh, sorry, Alec. What are you oh. dressed like that for? This is for... Oh. This is part of Alec Nasty Men for the film. Oh, great. What yeah. am I going to wear? You, what are you going to wear? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're going to wear that. Now, you see, the princess wouldn't wear that. That's, well, I know she wouldn't wear that. That's because you're not playing the princess. Who's playing the princess? Dawn is. Oh, well, fair, fair enough. I mean, Dawn is pretty. Fair Good enough. But what about Good the princess that's not quite so pretty? Harry's playing that. Harry got the part of the princess over me. Mm-hmm. So what am I playing? A small, fat man. Alec, I can't do that. A baron? I mean, like the beard, for example. Why not? It would take me months to grow a thing like that. Use this. Oh, what about my sex appeal? You haven't got any. Joke! It's a joke. Ethel. Joke. It's a joke. What? Eddie, Fred and Rob are all fancy you and they're all chasing you. Who <laughs> needs sex appeal? <laughs> what am I going to do? Put the disguise on. The disguise on. Disguise on. Quickly, went, pull the house call, all quickly. Right. Right, what else is there? There's a bell. Right. 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present for you Baron Sand of Sand Castle. Baron I hand! A bit short on courtiers! Mind you, the Baron's a bit short! <laughs> what do you think? Excellent, Ethel. Should I try it on the bell stars? Yes, it's spot on. Excuse me, girlies! Hello! That's a lovely man, darling. Thanks very much. I see. You seen Missy Ethel anywhere? Why, I can't say I have. No! Oh!
together, mate. Yeah. Are you going to go steady with yeah. him or what? Yeah. Well, yes and no. Yes, no! Oh, oh no. give it a bye, Neil, will you? Come on, you've got to make up your mind either way. Do you or do you not want to... Do you? What, go out with the postman? Yeah. Why? He's right behind you. Oh, Your Highness, we better go to you. Your Royal Highness, Your Royal Highness. Yes! Your Royal Highness. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir, but I was looking for Ethel. Have you seen her anywhere? No, why? What does she look like? Well, she's about so high, curly hair, beard and moustache. Sits around on work tops. Give us a kiss, Fred. Oh, no, it tickles. Go on. Listen, um, Fred. Mm. Yes? I, I was thinking that we should have a serious chat. You'd like to have a serious chat? Yes. <coughs> no, you see, what... Fred, you see, the thing is, I know that... No, that was a no, not a no. No, no, Fred, Fred please. Really, we're going to have a serious chat, aren't we? Yes? Oh, yeah. it's me. I do it myself Fred, now. put what? it down. This, oh. We have to decide, seriously, whether or not we're going to go steady. Well, I think that decision's up to you, Ethel. Well, I, I think that we should just, just be, um... Good friends? Yes, but... Ethel? But, yeah. Yes? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, my mum said I haven't got a job, so could I come back? Oh, yeah, well, well it's a bit of a bad time. What did you want, David? i just come back to see if I can watch Roger Rams yet. What, not just now? Yeah, go on, I've got oh, a job sorry. for you. Get the blind. Sorry. Hey, yeah. what kind of, um, friend should we be? Well, you know, when I say good friends, mm -hmm. I was more thinking in terms of... You won't have in a rail, will you? Oh, no, David, it's all right. What is the Roger Ramjet? Fordville. Oh, brilliant. Here we go. Oh, three, two, three, five, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Squid buns. As this amorous and that old standby glamorous episode begins, Roger Ramjet is on his way to spend the day with the girl of his dreams, the beautiful Miss Lotta Love, that perennial flower of American womanhood. Well, this is one time I'll have Lotta all to myself. That sneaky scoundrel Lance Crossfire, ace test pilot and my principal rival for Lotta's affections, is at this very moment up in the sky while I have the day off. Ah, there's Lotta's house now. Oh, look out below! <coughs> Help! It's an eclipse! The world is coming to an end! The sky is falling in! Oh, relax. A turkey lurkey. It's only me. Crossfire, you, you... A snake in the grass? Yes, that'll do nicely. I thought you were out testing somewhere. Oh, yes, old boy. I was testing parachutes. Sorry, I dropped in on you so unexpectedly. Well, you might as well drop out again. I have a date with Lotta. Here we go again, Ramjet. I happen to have a date with Lotta. Why don't you give up? The lady obviously prefers my company to yours. Your father's mustache. Your sister's sideburn. Your aunt's goatee. Boys, boys, are you two at it again? Now, who started this? He, he did. did. Well, it makes no difference. I already have a date. I'd like both of you to meet Buggy Coolhead, the famous jazz musician. Like, what's happening, baby? Man, Lotta, you gotta be kidding with these two squares. I mean, they're the lowest. I mean, like, wow, man, you know? Lotta, you actually like this bearded baboon? He's simply divine. I mean, I just love a man with talent. Buggy is the greatest jazz kazoo player in the business, you know. Well, so long, boys. We have to, uh, how do you say it? Oh, yes, we have to split. Hey, baby, you're pretty wild. Lance, this is serious. Uh, yes, Roger, we've got to win her back. But how? She suddenly goes for showbiz types. Well, you know what they say. Uh, no, Roger. What do they say? If you can't beat them, join them. Uh, you mean a fight fire with fire? Yes, one in Rome. There's more than one way to skin a cat. In other words, hold, hold my, my hand. hand. And so Lance and Roger, working together for a change, devised a plan to win back the beautiful Lotta. And several days later... <laughs> We have a surprise for you, Lotta. We're about to demonstrate that we, too, have talent. Yes. I'll wait till you see the snappy show we put together. Tell me, Crossfire, do gooseberries have legs? Uh, no, they don't. Then I just ate a caterpillar. Uh, my brother can play piano by ear. That's nothing. I know an old man who fiddles with his whiskers. I went to get some new dental plates the other day, but when I got to the dentist, I found I only had a dollar. What did you do? I got buck teeth. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Boys, look out for that throw rug. 
We thought you'd like men with talent. Yes, we wanted to show you how entertaining we could be. Oh, I wasn't serious about Buggy. I have a new boyfriend now. He's a ski instructor. A, a ski, ski instructor. instructor? Yes, I'm just crazy about winter sports. Well, that's snow biz. Uh, Roger. Yes, lads. Shut up. And so ends another frustrating episode of that debonair, romantic, happy-go-lucky playboy, Roger Ramjet. Is everything all right between you and Fred? Oh, yeah. Fred and I are going to be good friends, aren't we, Fred? Oh, he's gone, David. I think he's gone outside. Has he? Oh, gosh. I oh, hiya. Hi. Oh, hi. See you, Fred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, he's he's, he's up in the loo. Yeah, yeah up in Is the he? loo. Come yeah. on, I'll, I'll take you. Oh, that's all right. Thank, Thank you. you. See you then, Dave. Yeah. Hi. Thanks. I don't know. I don't think I told Fred properly. It wasn't quite... Perhaps I'll go and see if I can find him outside. But do you mind? This time I'll do it privately. Why don't you see what's happening in the lounge? Oh, come on, Miranda. If you want me to draw you, you've got to keep still. I can't draw that. That's better. Pardon? That's beautiful. Well, keep still. Uh, Magic. Lovely. Hey, do you remember that, remember that boyfriend of Stella? Oh, come on, Miranda. SJ, you tell her you're an artist. She's got to keep still if she wants yeah, me to draw a portrait. No. All right, all right, I got it. Beautiful. Magic. Just stay like that. She's got that light on. Bloated duck. All right. Miranda, I'm giving up. That what? is dreadful. You'll have to make do oh, with this, Neil. mate. Neil, that is terrible. What? That doesn't look like me. I yeah, couldn't help it. You're pulling all those funny faces. You like should me. keep it's still. Day. Look at that. That's oh, terrible. Stop arguing, you two. I've got a game we can play. Oh, it's right. called Go Guess on. the Place. Guess the Place. That's oh, a clue, so is guess it? Guess the City. Guess um, the City. Bathroom. Bath! Got it. Bath. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> one nil. Hold on, I've got Chosen a hard one. Chosen another one. This is a hard one. Right, one nil. Okay, one right, nil. Right, right, right. What's this one? Ethel and Harry. Hulk. Hulk. No. no Ma places. Ma cities. Manchester. Man. Manchester. Uh, I should have made this. Girl, this girl's good, you know. know. This girl's good. Go on, she give us another one. <laughs> right, this, this is. Go on. This one's uh, easy, actually. I think you'll get this one. Now uh, then, uh, I'd say it was body. leaf body. Leaf. No, leaf tail. No, what does um, that look like on the top? Holly, 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 Holly head, Holly head. Ho yeah, Holly head. I used it first. All right. Two one. Here, I'll have a go, right? Go on, this see, one. See if you can get this one. Right. Right, this will be just a quick one. Baby drawing. I have one here I made earlier. No, hang on. Yeah. Right, this is the decider. See which one of you two can match me for the championship. Herrings, fish, no. fish what, ball. What herring. type of fish are they? Spurty bits. Spit. Whales. Whales. Brilliant. Whales. Well done. Okay, SJ. last one. Go on. This is easy too. Uh, <clears throat> Runner bean? It's bean, a bean town? Bean? Bean town? Sporty. Corn, that's corn. Corn. Run, corn. Run corn. Run corn. Run corn. Run corn. Run corn. Run corn. That's a gem, there must be loads of these. Yeah. I tell you what, I bet you know some of these, don't you? Because, I mean, there must be thousands of them. Well, tell you what, why don't you send them to me, Neil, here at number 73? And what we'll do is we'll show the best ones, see if you can think of village, town, city with a funny name, and draw us some funny cartoon clues. Yeah? Good. Well, the address is, ready for this, Neil, number 7T3, yes, very good, P.O. Box 7T3, Made Stone, Stone. Tent. Oh, Kent. Kent. <laughs> Kent, sorry, guys. Yeah, very good. Very right, good. that's your eyes done. Can I open it now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, listen, am I going to have to do this every day? Is it? But look at me. Well, God. Alex asked me to do the makeup, right? And uh, yes, you are going to have to have it every day. It's quite basic, right? Because we've got a lot of quick changes in the film. Oh, I smashed it. <laughs> Is this the sort of stuff that you put on uh, to go out in the street in? Well, not quite so heavy, Harry. Mm. You have to have a bit more on for film because the camera doesn't pick up normal makeup. So, tell me one thing, how am I going to get this off? Well, right. just cleanser, you know, a bit of baby lotion, some cotton wool. It comes off quite easily. I tell you, I, I wish I'd never volunteered for this, and I really do. I don't know what I've let myself in for. Go on, what's that, what's that you're putting on now? This is blusher. Now, if you were having normal blusher, <laughs> I'd ask you to suck in your cheeks, right, because it's to emphasise your cheekbones and to give your face some colour. But seeing as you're being a silly princess, right, <laughs> I'm going to It's a good job I'm being a silly princess, really. Oh, you look <laughs> nice. You, I mean, it's going to look really good, Harry. I tell you, I could not put this stuff on. It's... It's horrible. It's I don't not. know how you can stand doing it every day. 
You just you kind of get used to it, you know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know anyone else that would put it on like as thick as this. Well, I mean, lots of people wear makeup. I mean, lots of boys wear makeup. Think of Boy George and Mark Orman. Keep your lips still. Mark Orman and David Bowie, Bet Lynch. <coughs> well, Bet Lynch is not Bet a boy, but Lynch. she wears makeup. Keep still. Got... You're meant to keep your lips still when I'm doing your lips. Sorry, stick. love. I think I'll give you nice cupid lips. Mm -hmm. Right, now you can also change the shape of your lips with lipstick, right? Now I'm going to change yours quite dramatically for the princess, right? Oh, yeah. um, that's put a bit down there. Very devil, aren't you? Yeah, and you can sometimes put an outline round your lips to give your lips a nice shape. What there are you, you are. And then fill it in with a nice colour, there you are. And if you, sometimes to make it very special, you can put a little bit of gold on the bottom lip and it gives you a bit of highlight. How did you get started? I mean, because you do quite good makeup on yourself, don't you? Well, you? I think, I mean, I remember when I was going to a disco when I was about 12. Now, let me try 30. this wig on. Let's try this on. Well, I want to look quite like what I had in mind, Harry. No. Wait a minute. I want to look like Roger Ramjet's girlfriend, lot of love. What do you think? No, it's not. I, I, you know, something a little bit more sensible, like. Oh this. come on. Yes, Harry. Bit of outrage never did anyone any harm, did it? I was it? telling you about how I started my makeup. Now listen to me. Oh, right. So. Yeah, I used to practice a lot. We were going to this disco, and me and my mate. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Me and my mate Christine Toth just had a really good about two hours practicing with all our mum's makeup in the bathroom. Did you? And it was great fun. Did your mum mind? It just got better and better, it really. Yeah. Just got, you know, as you well, as you practice and people used to give me makeup, now I buy on my own. Well, I'm glad I don't have to do this every day, I tell you. Right. I hope that's going to stay on. Don't play about. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, shall I, shall I just put it around me and that just give an idea of it anyway? Yeah. Right, let's put your, your hat on. Blimey. I hope none of my mates are watching this. I'm never going to live this down. You know, That's your wimple. <laughs> what, like that? I can't wear it like that. I can't get it on. That's your wimple. There you are. Me now, wimple. you really look like a medic. I mean, we'll have to spend a bit more time practising doing yes, this, Yes, of you know. course. But what do you think? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get it together. There you are. Is that right. it? OK, now yeah, you can practise. Right, shall I, shall I have a go at the lines? Right. What sort of accent shall I... <laughs> What sort of accent shall I use? Um, I know, a country accent, yeah? Right. Country bumpkin. They're looking for you, Lancelot. You must hide. If only Father had not banned you from the castle as a commoner. Oh, lovely. What do you think? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Do you think I'll get away with it? Hit the ramp like, and then yeah. just drop, lift forward and then the bike will go. Right? Who's the bird, Fred? <laughs> do I have an introduction? <laughs> See what I can do, Eddie. Any chance of an introduction to this charming young lady, Dawn? Exactly, Dawn! Fred. I knew this through that. <laughs> oh. I'm a man, am I? <laughs> That's the last time I do that. It's disgusting. I could really go for you, princess. Neil! Yes? You said it. Answer the phone. All right. Yeah. Hello? Who's calling? Hello? 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 Who's that? This is Danny. Danny? Hiya, Danny. How old are you, love? Um, 13. 13? Oh, nice evening. Where are you speaking from? Uh, Paddington. Right, OK. You ready to play the yes or no game? you got the rules, haven't you? You mustn't say yes or no to anything I say. OK, it's starting from now. now. OK. So, um, you come from Basingstoke? No. Is that right, Banny? Yeah? You said... <laughs> I'm sorry, Banny. No. <laughs> sorry about that, mate. I didn't you... say yes. Oh, you didn't say yes? No. All right, I'll give you another chance. Start again, quick. OK. Um, All right, stop the clock. You're yeah. from... What's Basingstoke like, mate? Um? What's Basingstoke like? Don't know. You don't know? No! Oh. I heard that. Oh, I thought you said you were from Basingstoke. No, Paddington. Oh, Paddington doesn't sound anything like <laughs> Basingstoke, really, does it? OK, then, uh, let's start again. Uh, start again. Yeah. <laughs> What's Paddington like? Eh? What's yeah. Paddington like? All right. Well, do you know what? I think I'm going to um, announce you winner already, cos you've done so well. All right. And cos I'm so thick. Stop the clock. Thanks for phoning, Benny. All right, mate. Uh, Ta-da. Well done. Bye. See ya. I Harry! I thought he said it, you know. Oh, I'll start yeah. the next one. Right, oh, yeah. I'll try this one. OK. Hello? Hello. Who's that? Emmeline. Oh, Emmeline. What a lovely name that is. Right, I'm just going to start the clock. Uh, right, you've not to say yes or no. You know the rules, don't you, Emmeline? Yeah. Right, OK, you've got one minute to survive the yes-no game, starting from now. Now, I didn't hear you say no, did I? Emmeline? I didn't. 
You didn't, did you? No. Right. Can you tell me what you normally do on a Saturday afternoon, Emily? Do, do you normally go out to the shops? I do. You do? Um, do you normally buy groceries, stuff like that, help your parents? Sometimes. Sometimes, right. Can you tell me what you do on a Saturday night? Just tell me a typical Saturday night. What do you do on a Saturday night? Watch TV. And what else? What do you watch on TV? Uh, full Guy. The Full Guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Emily. You lasted 40 seconds. You nearly did it. But never mind. Thanks for calling anyway. Bye. Ta -ra. Ta -ra. Bye. See ya. Oh, she nearly did it, didn't oh, she? Oh, I feel so stupid. Fancy getting Paddington mixed up with Basin. Uh -huh. Who do such a thing? Go on, Anne. You're, yeah, yeah, we go. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Who's calling? Jennifer. Jennifer? What's your Jennifer? All right, Ten. love. Hello? I said hello. hello. <laughs> How old are you, girl? Ten. Ten? And where are you calling from? Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh, you mean Basin Stoke. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool. Another one of your lot. Liverpool. Yeah. So, are you ready to start the game? A yes and no game. OK, then. Here we go, starting now. OK, so what's Liverpool like? Is it nice and sunny today? Very sunny, yeah. Very sunny, is it? Have you got any cinemas or um, things like that? Bingo houses around there? There's one in Broadway. There's what? There's a bingo house in Broadway. There's a bingo house in Girls Lane. Is it's it Broadway. Uh, oh, in the Broadway. Is it good? Do you ever go there? I've never been there before. No, no. Do you go, have you been to the cinema? place but very often? I've been to see E.T. E.T., brilliant. What else? And Return of the Jedi. Oh, did you like it? Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, now let's see, what, what else can I... Oh, family. Have you got, you've got a family, haven't you? Obviously. Oh, she... <laughs> Describe them to me. What's your mum like? Curly hair. Curly hair? Very beautiful. Very beautiful. I take after her. And, what, and you take after her? Yeah. And you're modest as well with it? Are you modest? Pardon? Are you modest? <laughs> another winner. Yeah, and a well done, love. Brilliant. Brilliant. Give our love to Liverpool, won't you? Hey, listen. You know I'm unemployed. Pardon? You know, I, you know I've lost my job. Pardon? You, did you know that I've lost my job? Can you hear me? I know it's far I, away. I, I, I turned in for a job for you. Have you? Have you got? A, have you got a good suggestion? I'm work on a motorbike shop. Working a motor. Well, what a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? That's excellent. Hey, well, listen, thanks for calling. All right, take care of yourself. Ta-da, love. Bye. 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 You can say yes or no from now on. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Another scouser, right? Another scouser. She's They're good, everywhere, aren't, aren't they? All the, Brilliant. all the scousers are good at this game. Yeah, they Absolutely are. Absolutely magic. Yeah. Where are we going? Lounge? Food lounge. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's Daniel's lovely. Bring it over. Let's have a look at it. Oh, doesn't it look great? We'll have to frame that. Have you done everything to it now? Yes, although you could add sort of sky with blue icing after yeah. and sort of cement the house into that. And so there are other things you can add at the end? Yes, you could maybe put a TV aerial in. Yeah. With icing. Oh, it's lovely. Listen, why don't you put it on the tray to cool? Do you know, I think I'm going to have a go at making one of these. I don't think I'll be any good, though, do you? I don't know. Oh. It's quite a good idea. Listen, why don't you have a go at making your own 73 biscuit house, right? Robert and I have made a fact sheet. And if you want one, if you want to learn how to make your own biscuit house, why don't you write to me, Dawn, number 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Kent, right? And don't forget a stamped addressed envelope, cos I'm absolutely broke, OK? That's... Ooh, he's gone away. Number 73, P.O. Box 73, Maidstone, Maidstone Kent. Kent. Oh, can I have a bit of that? No, 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 no. Oh, you can have this. Show. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to frame it and put it on the wall. Fred. Oh, look. The Bible Post van. Oh. They're lovely. It's Fred, look. But I I'm not interested in Fred anymore. Oh, that's good, because he's going out with Jenny from the Bell Stars. Come sit down. Come Jenny! Jump. Fred! Jump. Here! Yeah. Scum. Jenny, Jeff. over there. Are we ready? Right. <laughs> so, the daring dance we've just been finally yes. built. Never deadly dangerous, less more delicate, less more divinely decadent. So, what you call it? Hi! Yes. 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 Welcome along another exciting edition of 
the sandwich cookies. Could I have your name, please? Uh, Fred Postman. Fred the Postman, yes. okay. If you want to keep your posted, it's mine. Jenny... And your name is? Jenny Bellstar. Jenny Bellstar, okay. No bias at all today, none whatsoever. Open question, either of you can win. Now then, what we're going to do, Fred, no problems at all here. Open question, either of you can answer. If you get the question right, right. you get a piece of bread. I hope you're going to play it at home. Okay. Which bird, first open question, very exciting here, isn't it? Which bird is associated with eight pieces of gold? Uh, uh, um, parrot. Tutankhamen. Uh, um, a, par uh, a parrot. Uh, a parrot. Now, there's a good <laughs> answer. A little bit of invention there. I think um, half a piece of bread, Silver. actually, <laughs> for invention. Tutankhamen, of course, associated with a massive amount of gold, but a full piece of bread there for Fred. Oh. Brilliantly moving right ahead here, speeding on. OK, filling question. What kind of filling are you going to go for? Um, nice uh, there, Fred. Vegetarian corned beef or... No, Fred, um, we haven't got any of that. What are oh, you going to have? A sandwich spread. But a sandwich spread. OK. Very difficult sandwich spread uh, question that we've got here. Oh, dear. Let's have a look. What I want you to do is... Point out Jenny's worst feature. Oh. Jenny's oh, worst wow, feature. Um, 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 I don't think she's got any, actually. I don't know. Her. Well, to be fair, it's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. I must Yay. be fair. Yeah. Perfection. Yeah, it's all right. We'll accept that. No bias. Go ahead. Put Come your filling on. Jenny. Another piece of bread. Open question. Thank you. Either of you can answer. Go on then, Jenny. I'll let, you, I'll let you have a chance here. What is Cliff Richards' real name? Cliff Richards? Mm. Open question. Either of you can answer. Harry Webb. Harry Webb. Absolutely oh, correct. Did you not know that? Oh, Curious. Yeah. My, very nice name, though. I don't know why I bothered to change it. OK, open question. No, it isn't. But it's a filling question. What kind of filling are you going to go with? <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, a bit of moral support coming in here. All right, that's then, Jenny. Need, but, yeah. unfortunately, it's the postman's question. Filling question. What kind of filling are you going to go for there? Egg. Egg filling. OK, yes. what I want you to do is I want you to imagine, if you will, imagine you're kissing the most beautiful girl in the world. Oh. All right. Yep. Brilliantly done, and a lovely pucker action I can see there with the postman. And so that's a feeling that you're going to have to catch up. You've only got half a piece of bread here. Come on, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. That's it. OK. Open question. Either of you can answer. How many wives did Henry VIII have? Eight. Yay! Six. Six. Absolutely correct. Got it down the second girl. But really? had six wives. <laughs> OK, so that's a piece of bread there. Filling question <laughs> for you. Sweet. What kind of filling are you going to go for? Um, tomatoes. Tomato filling. OK, what <laughs> I want you, know. you to do for the tomato filling um. is make the sound of a hen laying an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Why me? You can okay. do it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> there by the hen. Have a bit of egg here on this sandwich. There we go. Piece of bread, half a piece of bread, another piece of bread. Sandwich and a half each. We'll move on. Open question. Either of you can answer. Right. right. It's very exciting here. It's one and a half sandwiches to two. How many thieves did Ali Baba encounter? Forty. 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 Say forty-two. Forty. Say forty-two. Forty. The answer, in fact, is forty. So there's another one for Fred. Oh, Come yeah. on now, Jenny. Oh, well, yeah. I know you can. Yeah. I know you can. Yeah. That's it. Go for it. OK, what I want you to do... Uh, let's have a look. Make the sounds of an elephant stuck in a water hole. Ah, <laughs> 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 We <laughs> can all remember. So that's, uh, that's uh, another filling there for oh, you, Fred. You. How many sandwiches have you got now? Um, one, two, two. You're going to have to hurry up. Two, two and a half. Get anywhere. Two and a half, I think. Okay. Yeah, Open boys, question. Uh, Open question. Either of you can answer. Who said, let them eat cake? Um, Man, Antoinette. Man, Antoinette. OK, filling question for you. Here's a filling question. What I want you to do... Can I get a piece of bread for that? You get a piece of bread. There's a junior there <laughs> getting another piece of bread for us. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the that. bell starts with a piece of bread. Quickly now, pull your mouth down as far as it can go. Brilliant, Lidon! <laughs> I'm very Hilda Baker, if I might say so. Oh, oh, what kind of filling will you get? Bit I'll of that, have a bit of that. Now, that's it. Two sandwiches to three, and we move on to the befamed current affairs section. I hope you've all been reading your tabloids. Oh, OK. I've read open the paper. Oh, well, that's all right, then. That'll do. Open question. Either of you can oh. answer on the news. I hope you're all obsessed with the news here, because what we're going to have is, which British heavyweight is fighting in Chicago today? Bruno. Joe Bugner. Bruno. Joe Bugner. Um, uh, yes, I think Joe Bugner. No. Joe Bugner. I mean, if he was in Chicago, perhaps he would be fighting. I think we'll accept the answer. The answer. Technically, the answer was, of course, Frank Bruner, but Joe Bugner probably having a little bit of a fight there in uh, in Chicago. OK, open question. Either of you can answer. It's three to three. It's getting very exciting. Oh, dear. Why might there be a new Beatles single coming out? 
Um, Why? Um, Might there be? That's it, Judy. I'm not being bread. Is it because they found an old tape of? of they have. Music? They found yeah. four yeah. old unknown yeah. Beatles tapes, and possibly there'll be a new Beatles yeah. single coming out. So that's four yeah. sandwiches yeah. to three. Okay, I'm gonna have to move on now. Which British man won a title at Wimbledon last Sunday? John, John Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, not getting in there, are you, Jenny? I don't know. So what we do is we give a current oh, affairs question there to Fred okay. and a piece of bread there for possibly the best laugh we've had on the sandwiches. Okay, quiet now, please. Quiet now, please. Move quiet, please. Okay, over what kind of fuel? That's it, have another set. Oh, no, that's very interesting now because I thought you had four sandwiches, but in fact, you've only got three there. And it's four sandwiches to Jenny. So, moving right along. Please, over what kind of fuel is there a price war this week? Petrol. Petrol, that's absolutely correct there, Fred. You've got two sandwiches now to Jenny's <laughs> four. <laughs> Moving right along, last question. What's the name of Wham's new album that has made number one this week? Wham, it's the greatest hits. What's it called? Wait, it's, it's fantastic. Thump. It's simply fantastic. It's Whoa. called fantastic. OK, we'll leave that question. But in fact, at the end there, interestingly enough, Fred has only got two sandwiches. Oh, too and Jenny yeah. has got four. So Jenny moves on mm. without any cheating whatsoever to the famed <laughs> squidgy bun section. Oh, yeah. 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 Brilliantly yeah. done. Yeah. Now then, Jenny, what I want you to do, very simple, I know you can manage this. I want, instead of the vowel sound I, I want you to say squidgy bun. Can you sing by the light of the silvery moon? Can you sing that without using the vowel sound I? So it's by the squid. By the little no, squid. No, by, by, by. <laughs> I said the vowel sound. By squidgy bun. Oh, but by squidgy bun. The squidgy bun. The squidgy bun of the <laughs> squidgy bun moon. Hey. Hey. Really? <laughs> must be a hit. Clearly a very musical person, and therefore <laughs> we award you the befame the sandwich quiz alone. <laughs> Boogie with the bands, everybody who's friends, come with me! Yeah. Yeah.